Heat creep is a real problem, and this Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon is no exception to that issue. The plastic gets nice and molten down here in the heat chamber, but sometimes that heat can travel upwards in an improperly cooled system and melt the plastic in the heat sink where you genuinely do not want molten plastic to be. So, what do we do? When you're printing things like PLA, the printer even tells you, remove the glass panels. This is because heat builds up inside of this chamber, and that chamber heat can heat up the heat sink and the extruder, causing plastic to melt prematurely. Now that sounds well and good, but the problem is, this printer is in my living room, where I watch TV. Now, uh, that means the stink is going to get everywhere if I leave this printer open. I have these Voxel PLA HEPA filters slash carbon filters to get rid of that stink, but it only works if the system is completely enclosed. So, what can we do to mitigate this issue then? Martillotech believes they have the answer to this issue. They sent over this product free of charge for me to test out and see how I feel about it and to tell all you guys about it. But uh, I don't just take them at their word. We're gonna get some actual data. Before we go diving into graphs, let's talk about what it is this thing does because it's not so obvious if you just look at it. Well, this thing is basically like a little mini refrigerator. It's gonna cool down the air and then pass it through these tubes, which then gets spliced into your Bowden tube and this Bowden tube is now charged with cool air, and that cool air gets sent directly into the extruder. You might be wondering, wait a minute, there's filament in here. How is air going to pass through this tube with filament in it? I thought of that, actually. These tubes are replacements that come with the kit. They're slightly larger inner diameter to allow air to flow through. You might be wondering, though, does that affect reliability? We're going to test that out. Now hold on there, bucko. What if you're printing in a hot, humid environment? That cold charged air is going to condensate, and that condensation is going to build up and shove its way through the tubes. Well, it would, except it thought of that too. This is an air-water separator. We use them pneumatically on my tool systems all the time when working on cars. They've adapted it to fit this system in line, so that way, Moisture gets trapped in here, and you can empty it at your leisure. Just make sure you empty it once in a while, and you get clean, dry air. But what if you have the AMS system? Isn't it going to shove air all the way into here, and then make the air here more cold, subjecting the filament to more moisture that's trapped in the system? Well, no. They thought of that, too. This little inline adapter releases pressure that comes through this side, so that way it never gets fed back into your AMS system. It only goes one direction, and that is to this. Let's look at some thermal data, shall we? Going over to the Martillo Tech device, we can see that we are indeed pumping some cold air. Surrounding air is like 20-something degrees Celsius. This is 17-something. And as we follow the line, we can see this air is cold. At least colder than the surrounding air all the way down to the extruder. Where we can see the inside of the extruder is internally being cooled by this system. Now this is all very clever, but it means nothing if it makes the system less reliable. This is already a really complicated machine with the AMS doing its thing. So we need to make sure that this connection that they provide, which appears to be 3D printed, and this Bowden tube, which is slightly larger on the inner diameter to help allow that air flow through, is that going to cause feeding issues into the extruder? Let's load up a multicolor print and torture test this thing and see how it does. After eight hours and several hundred filament switches, we have a Shrek. And it actually turned out relatively decent for the size. Let's take a closer look at it. After a few hundred filament switches and a few hours of printing, I can say confidently that this machine doesn't appear to have any feeding issues due to the changes in the Bowden tube system. 
So that's good. It doesn't change your reliability. I have yet to see any other company come up with a clever design like this to address a problem that is very real and is documented. So kudos to Martillo Tech. This is actually a really neat device. And the more I think about it, the more I start to wonder, why couldn't you just adapt this to fit any direct drive extruder system out there? Like, it's literally just a tube and a Y splitter. I mean, I, I seriously wonder why this couldn't be adapted to more printers. Like, it's a good idea. The thermals prove that it does do what it do, or what it claims to do. And I, for that, you know what? I, I actually happily recommend this product. So there you have it. Martillo Tech came out with a creative solution to a common problem, and I think it should actually do the job. So, for all intents and purposes, yeah, this thing's pretty neat. I recommend it.